hi guys welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to be showing you how to create this auto typing text animation in figma please don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this as you can see i just pasted this website header section on my artboard and i'm just quickly going to rename the artboard so basically what we want to do is to create a, an auto typing text animation for this word easier right here we want to be able to type in different text and create an effect that shows like the text is typing just as you see in the preview to do that i'm going to quickly duplicate the text i'm also going to draw a rectangle and place the rectangle under the text so it feels like a background i'm also going to arrange the rectangle so it fits the text size because basically what we are trying to achieve with this section is to create a mask in which the text is hidden under the shape of the rectangle but first i'm going to reduce the size of the rectangle to fit the first letter of the word and i'm also going to make some adjustments feel free to do whatever suits you after making all these adjustments just the way i like it i'm going to select both the rectangle and the text and i'm going to right click on both sections and i'm going to click on the use as mask option so as you can see here the text is being hidden under the shape of the rectangle i'm going to take note of the height of that section i'm also going to draw a line which i'm going to set the height of the line to be exactly the height of the section i just created i'm then going to select both elements and i'm going to use the horizontal align and the align right property to make both objects align right then i'm going to go ahead to create this as a component so basically what we're trying to achieve with this is at every interval we want to show another letter so at an interval we show a at another interval we show the s up until we show the entire text so that's what we are trying to achieve with this and to achieve this we are going to have to create multiple variants of a particular component and in situations like this where i have to create multiple variants in a component i like to create a base component so that it enables me to make changes that takes effects on all the variants of the component. So I'm just going to create this as another component. Now I have a component inside a component. I'm just going to select both of these and I'm going to move them to the left hand side of the artboard so that I have enough vertical spacing. The next thing to do would be to create another variant in our component. And this is how we keep creating variants until we complete the whole interaction. So I'm just going to extend the component size so that it contains the entire word at the end of the day. So from the second component, I'm just going to increase the size of the mask so it shows two letters. And I'm going to keep doing that. I'm going to create another variant. I'm going to increase the size to show three letters. And I'm going to keep doing that till I get to show the entire word. And after showing the entire world, what I want to do next is to create a reverse order where the, the cursor of the typing reverses back to its initial state. So I'm just going to make this part of the video a little faster so I won't waste your time. Now that I am at the last letter, I'm also going to duplicate it and I'm going to make sure I hide the last letter under the mask so it becomes just the cursor. Now we are done creating all the variants for our components. I'm pretty sure your word might vary from mine, but basically, what you want to do is to show each letter at every variant stage. Now the next thing is to create the interaction between our variants. I'm just going to switch to the prototype mode and I'm going to start from the very first letter and drag the wires down to the second letter. I'm going to use an after delay and I'm going to set the timer to 200 milliseconds. I'm going to leave the animation at instant and then I'm going to repeat this same procedure for the second to the third variant from the third variant to the fourth variant and so on up until I get to the last variant.
now i'm at the last variance and what i want to do here is to make an interaction from the last variance to the first variance so i'm just going to click on the wire on the last variance and i'm going to move it up until i get to the very first variance in the component and at this stage we've completely created interactions between our components and i'm very sure you can't wait to see what the final outputs will look like so i'm just going to set the timer of the after delay from the last to the first variant and then i'm going to rename our component i'm then going to switch back to our header section i'm going to select the easier text that was there initially and i'm going to remove it from the other text i'm then going to switch to the asset panel and i'm going to pick our component in which we just created the animations on and i'm going to fit it right where we removed the initial easier word from just like the way you're seeing here after that i think we are done we are just going to click on the play icon to preview our prototype and this is it guys i hope you understand this but this is just a single word what i would like to do is to create another word so that once it feels like we are done typing the first word it reverses and types the second word and comes back to the first word just like that I also noticed that the cursor is a little bit lighter than I would prefer. So I'm going to click on the base component. I'm going to click on the stroke in it. I'm going to increase the width of the stroke and I'm also going to fine tune the edges a little bit. And this is exactly the functions of a base component. Now to add another word to the easier word, I'm going to be using the component text property. To add the text property, you're going to select the text in your component and you're going to come down to this content area and click on this button here. I'm just going to use the default setting. If you've done this, your component will automatically have a text property which enables you change the text of that component without having to dive into the layers. Just as you can see here, I have a text property with the value of easier. I'm going to rename it to faster because that's the second word I want to use. Now you can click on your variants and expose the first letter so that it can be visible. Just like the way I'm doing it here. So after that, you can create another variant and expose the second letter and keep doing that till you show the entire letter and back to the very first letter. Just the way I did with the initial word. After that, I'm going to select all these variants I just created and remove the interaction between them because I noticed I duplicated the last variant and the last variant was prototyped to the very first variant on the easier word initially. So I'm just going to remove all the interactions between these newly created variants and create, um, continue the interactions in where we stopped from the initial word. I just hope you're getting this so it's going to be a linear interaction from the very first word um on the from the very first letter in the easier word to the very first letter on the faster word it's just going to be a linear interaction then we are going to prototype the last cursor on the faster word back to the initial letter on the easier word just the way you see how i'm doing it on your screen And after you're done with the prototyping at this stage i'm sure you're done with your two words autotyping text and we still have the instance of our component in our header so we can just play the header text and this is what it's going to look like guys 
just as you can see the easier word completes the auto typing effect reverses and then the faster word completes its auto typing effect so guys thank you very much for sticking to the end of the video um please also don't forget to like subscribe turn on the notification bell to get more videos like this and i'm going to see you in my next video